Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the second of three pieces of artwork that I'm going to be giving away. Now all three pieces are going to be butterflies. You can see the first one on my channel which is a blue butterfly. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. These pieces of artwork are a part of my 1000 subscriber giveaway and if you haven't seen that video yet then I will also link that in the description below. That will give you all the details of how to enter to win this piece of artwork. So as you can see for this one I am using mostly red colours and I'm really sorry if any watercolour artists are watching and they're going oh my god what is she doing? I'm Look, I'm not the best artist with watercolours, I'm just doing what feels right and it's I find it really fun to paint with. As you can see at the start I added lots and lots of water because I wanted the colours to just all run together and just create this mass of amazing like, colour and <laughs> obviously I put in too much water and then had to soak it all off but um, the main idea is just to get a really nice gradient between the yellow in the centre and then going out through oranges towards the edges and being all red and dark and, and beautiful. Um, this is definitely my favourite colour scheme because red is my favourite colour but uh, yeah this is uh, the, the process that I'm sort of going through with this with these pieces just um, slapping on the colour and just making these beautiful gradients and um, yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying it. The black watercolour in this set, I'm using the Winsor & Newton Cotman set. The black is absolutely amazing. I didn't actually realise that black watercolour was so opaque. It's absolutely amazing. And so I thought that I would need to use some sort of black marker or, or a permanent marker to actually do the black outlines around the edge. But uh, yeah, no, the, the black watercolour paint was just enough to do that. So that was great. Okay, so I'm busting out my fine tech watercolours again. These are the metallic ones. I absolutely love this set. They are so amazing. And I'm using a 4-0 paintbrush, which I believe I got from Atlantis Art in London, but I can't remember. So yeah, these fine tech watercolours are so beautiful. I've I'm using three colours for this piece, uh, a very pale gold and then a more sort of golden yellow gold and then a more orange one to go over the red pieces. And the main idea I wanted to use these for was to do this beautiful swirling sort of filigree pattern almost. Um, I didn't really have a plan on how I was going to do it. I just kind of free it and um, just just went with my instinct of uh, where the next curl was going to be. But I think it actually turned out okay and I'm pretty happy with the result. At the end it just looks amazing because the whole piece is just covered in these beautiful metallic swirls. Now the way these fine tech uh, watercolours work is I tend to put a lot of water onto the palette and I mix it around until the paint sort of almost forms this sort of, I don't know, really sort of thick consistency. It's like you keep working it until the, the water kind of melts in and then it just becomes this lovely creamy texture and then um, you've got this almost, you know, a wet puddle <laughs> of, um, of paint to work with and, and I find that they are quite opaque. You can actually water them down a lot more and have them more as a, a light wash over the top of colours just to give that amazing sheen uh, because when you look at these on a finished piece 
if it's really thin, then at a certain angle it's very translucent, but then when you, you know, change the angle of the piece that you're looking at, the light shines on it and it just lights up amazingly. I absolutely adore these paints, they are so cool. Anything with glitters and sparkles and metallic things, yeah, I love it, I love it. I'm kind of like a magpie like that. So at first when I did this piece, I thought that I would actually model it on a monarch butterfly, but I kind of changed my mind on that because, well firstly, the shape of a monarch butterfly, it doesn't have the, the sort of trailing bits at the bottom. Yeah, so that didn't really kind of pan out, but also I didn't want to put white on this piece, I just wanted to use the gold. So when I was peeling off the masking fluid, I kind of knew that the edge wasn't going to be very crisp. and part of the paint actually flaked off which is a bit strange but the good thing about this piece is it's black all the way around the edge so I knew that I could clean that up quite easily. For the previous butterfly that I did, the blue one, I actually used a marker around the edge but for this I decided to just use the black watercolour and it, I think it just worked really well. And also using a paintbrush to do it I could get a really smooth clean line. So as you may be able to hear, I'm slightly under the weather at the moment. I've come down with quite a sniffle this week, so that's why this video is actually a little bit more delayed than I would like. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get the next butterfly video out for next Friday, which is, uh, I believe it's the 31st of March. So that is when the giveaway ends. But yeah, I will start working on that as soon as I can. And do follow me on Instagram and I can show you progress shots and updates. And also follow me on Twitter as well because I might uh, update you with other bits and pieces. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. And I'm kind of a little bit bummed that I'm going to be giving this away because I quite like it. <laughs> Especially since red is my favorite color. But I hope someone really enjoys this piece of artwork. And if you haven't watched the 1000 subscriber giveaway video, go and check that out now and you can enter the giveaway to win this. So thanks for watching, I will see you in my next video.